Please welcome to the blue corner, Matt Costello. All right, you ready for a title fight, Mike? Ready or our, not, here yeah, we are. So we got ourselves an amateur title fight. Matt Costello, Matty Ice. Second time fight for us here at Fury as an amateur coming off a win over Randy Gonzalez back at FC 74. He's a brawler who can take a lot of damage. That's the best way to put it. Yeah, and you know, the, uh, there's a lot of heavyweights that have made a ton of money and a big name for themselves in that exact style because that's what people like to see is heavyweights. Unfortunately, long term, that you know, not only do you pass out in devastation, you also may take some because there are some heavyweights that are bigger with heavier hands. But right now, the task at hand with Matt Costello is getting that heavyweight strap, that Fury Amateur heavyweight strap. And then once he gets that, he can make the decision if he's ready to go on. But we just saw, ladies and gentlemen, what a real professional UFC caliber heavyweight looks like standing next to us. And Juan Adams made me Raheel look like children standing next to us. So, you know, it, it, it'll be time for him to decide if he wants to make that leap or if he wants to defend the title. Either way, uh, Mac, uh, Costello has got, he's got good hands. And like you said, he can take some punishment. And that does put you in position to be able to pass out some punishment also. 5-0 and fighter. Possibly his last time inside the cage as an amateur. Let's meet his opponent. Please welcome to the red corner, Abraham Van Hoot. Abraham Van Hoot, AKA Fury Jason Momoa. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this dude is a savage. The Alaskan assassin. Originally from Solda, Soldatona, Alaska. We'll, now, we'll go with that. Yeah, I, I, you try it. <laughs> I want to see if you. Yes, Soldatna. Soldatna Alaska. sounds better. There yeah, you go. Soldatna, Alaska. We'll go with that. We're gonna say I'm right. Second, Real, you, Real, you don't see very often a, a one and zero guy in a title fight. But not a lot of people wanted this fight against Costello and this dude, who could probably fight at light heavyweight. So he actually fought at middleweight. His only other fight was at middleweight. And now stepping up and taking on the heavyweight, Matt Costello. I mean, look at that dude. I mean, he is built. Our tale of the tape brought to you by OnlyFans. Make sure you subscribe to the Fury FC OnlyFans account right now. Height advantage to Van Hoop. Reach advantage to Costello. Came in at 215 pounds. You see that huge weight discrepancy. But he wants to fight. He's ready to fight. Both guys are inside. Final words from Aaron Menard to Van Hoot. Let's get our introductions. Here's Wayne. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest brought to you by OnlyFans is scheduled for five rounds. It is for the Fury Amateur Series Heavyweight Championship. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This freestyle fighter stands six feet, one inch tall, and he weighed in at 244.4 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, he holds a perfect amateur record. Five wins, no losses. This is Matty Ice, Matt Costello. And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist stands six feet two inches tall, and he weighed in officially at 215.8 pounds. Fighting out of Borger, Texas, by way of Soldatna, Alaska, he holds an amateur record of one win, no losses. This is the Alaskan assassin, Abraham Van Hoot. And now your referee, Aaron Menard, with your final championship instructions. Guys, whatever the rules in the back, protect yourself at all times, obey my commands. Touch gloves, let's do this. All right, heavyweight title on the line here at Fury Amateur Series. 
still have two more pro fights left for you on our prelims broadcast. But right now, let's get this thing going. Blue gloves for Matty Ice. Red gloves for the Alaskan assassin. Abraham Van Hoot. Yeah, we know the power of Matt Costello. We gotta wonder if the speed advantage uh, is gonna make a difference here with Abraham Von Hoot. I'm curious to see what happens if this fight does go to the ground. If this fight goes to the championship rounds, will the cardio of Matty Ice be an issue? Oh, big overhand right there from the assassin. Yeah, Von Hoot's got to be careful leaving his head in there in those exchanges. Even though he's landing, Matt Costello is landing also. And those punches are a little more devastating from the bigger man. Ooh, big knee there from Matty Ice. And Boots' face turning a little red. Matty yep. Ice just looks like an old school brawler. He does. Oh. That's a big punch there from Matt Costello. I think Abraham Von Hoot is, is just now starting to realize, holy cow, this is a heavyweight fight. <laughs> I mean, it's fun to take fights and, you know, at this level, we've talked about it a little bit. It doesn't matter that much. Oh, Ooh, nice trip. Very nice. This has got to be advantage. Abraham Von Hoot, this has got to be his advantage here. You see him, he went for that arm bar. He was going to go right into that arm bar. This may be absolute worst case scenario for, for Matt Costello. Does a good job of getting back to his feet. But you can see this is where that fight needs to go for Abraham Van Hoot to, for his best opportunity to win. And Matty Ice did a great job of bringing his fans out because this crowd is electric for this amateur heavyweight title fight. They are all waiting for Costello to have a big moment. 30 seconds left here in round one. Oh, oh. Big right. Oh, nice overhand right there from Von Hoot. But not even, not causing any sort of damage. There was no flinching from Matty Ice. <laughs> Into All round right. one, very impressive. I mean, we have a lot of questions that needs to be answered in round two. 244 pounds for Costello, 250 for Abraham Van Hoot. What's gonna give, the cardio, the weight discrepancy, the strength, when we look at round one highlights, we'll discuss that in just a second. Man, and Abraham Van Hoot took some clean punches from Matt Costello and stayed in there. He, he never shied away from the striking exchanges with him. But he just is completely ineffective in striking. He's landing great punches. Matt Costello just walking through a beautiful takedown there by Abraham Van Hoot. Got to think, and his corner's telling him. You can see after that exchange, his corner's telling him, you've got to take him back down. I guarantee you in this second round, they're going to try to close that distance again, get that trip down, get this fight back to the ground. And he was hunting for that arm right away, as you saw and mentioned. I wonder if there's something there that they've noticed going into the fight that, hey, this, your ground game could potentially get you a big win. I don't know how many big exchanges Van Hoot can stand, though. Yeah, he needs to stay out of those striking exchanges for sure. Wants to close the distance here. Matt Costello knows he wants to close the distance. Knows he wants that big takedown. And I think that's what he's gonna have to do. He's gonna have to land a couple of those punches and just stun Costello enough to stop him and then shoot him for the takedown, like right now, whenever there's those exchanges are coming. One, two, takedown. I mean, that needs to be the approach. Oh, nice jab there. 
Costello just moving forward, <laughs> savage style. Graham Van Hoot just taking those punches well. But you can see he closed the distance there and wanted to wrestle for a minute. He did not want to take any more of those punches. Oh, oh, very nice. nice. And again, this is one of those things that Alex talked about. Alex talks about this all the time. He does not like those lateral throws because if you fail at them, you end up on the bottom. A lot of blood coming out of the nose of Abraham Van Hoot now. Cardio still looking pretty strong from both fighters. Actually, Matt Costello looking like the fresher fighter here as we go into the second half of round two. And that cardio will get sapped if you take a bunch of punches from a bigger fighter. That huge weight discrepancy for this heavyweight amateur title fight. And you see the blood leaking from the nose of that. Oh, hoot. man, big body kick. Matty Ice has Van Hoot stunned. Yeah, Van Hoot's face is a bloody mess now. Looks like he's bleeding out of the nose, and maybe out of the lip also. The nose mostly. And Abraham big Van beat. Hoot is. Matty Ice sensing a finish. Can he keep pushing forward in round two and capture the amateur title here in the heavyweight division? Oh, you see they tried that lateral throw again. Almost ended up on bottom. Mac, Mac Costello not wanting this fight to stay on the ground. Most effective here when he's throwing from range. Wants to land one of those big punches. See a lot of blood here. I want them to get away from us right here. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, nice right hand there from Mac Costello. Ten seconds left. Is there a finish here in this final flurry? Big kick to take back to the corner. Off to round three we go. And they are throwing down inside. Yeah, Rio, we thought that Mac Costello may be the, the lesser conditioned of the two fighters as we got later in the rounds, but it looks like just the opposite. You see Mac Costello, or uh, Abraham Von Hoodle here landing a nice jab there, almost knocked the mouthpiece out of Costello. And here's that lateral throw attempt that could have ended him up on the bottom. Maybe Von Hoot wanted to grapple a little bit there. Stolen, a nice body kick. Costello landing some nice punches, but those big, big power punches. Hasn't been able to land the big one yet. But you see the face. Abraham Van Hoot wearing it on his face. Here as we go into the third round, Mac Costello again looking like the pressure of the two fighters real. It definitely is, and we'll see if round three is gonna be the moment where Mac Costello could capture this belt. Does Abraham Van Hoot have something up his sleeves? We're gonna get a quick check from our cage side doctor to make sure everything is good. I'm not exactly sure what they're looking at. He's bleeding a little bit, but it's not anything that we've seen that would stop a fight. He's got a cut lip, and they stopped it over that. It looks like <laughs> it looks like it was on the tongue. I don't know. I, I just briefly seen it, but it looks like they're looking at it. So we'll see what what the ruling is here. But I think it'll be okay. Yeah, Matty Costello's like, hey. Um, how about this extra minute of recovery for my opponent? Yeah, this favoring Abraham Von Hoot uh, definitely. I mean, there's a lot of blood situation. Coming yeah, there's no MRI machine here, Doc. You're not going to be able to see it with your naked eye. He's fine. Get him back in there. If my brother was here at cage side, uh, he could have jumped in, the dentist. <laughs> All right, we're good to go. All is well inside. Round three. Another 30 seconds of rest for each fighter. Nice body kick there from Van Hooten. Goes again. Just three in a row from Van Hooten. 
I mean, he's connecting pretty hard. And maybe Matty Ice is just really good at not showing any kind of damage. But no flinch even for Matty Ice. No. opposite side you saw immediately Van Hoot drop his hand and check that kick. He didn't, he didn't want any part of those big kicks from Matty Ice. And you got to think, oh, oh, very nice. Man, perfectly timed. He cannot lose this. He is in the full mount here. He cannot lose this, this position again. Ooh, he lost punch. it in the first round. He's got to stay tight. He's got to stay on the back here. He's got to attempt something. He's got to lock up a choke. He's got to switch to an arm bar. He's got to do something, because if he ends up on the bottom here, this is going to be devastating. Oh. oh, very close there. Very nice. I think he grasped for it a little bit too early. Oh. What are your thoughts on that? Because Matty Ice could have still punched a bunch from the guard. I think Matt Costello, we are seeing real. Him running out of gas right before our eyes. Man, he wanted no part of staying on the ground. No, I don't blame him. Uh, ben Hoop got to some good positions immediately, but he's not pulling the trigger on doing what he has to do from those positions to make them effective. Let's try again. And remember, we have two more rounds after this. If this is the way the fight goes, and Van Hooten can keep him to the ground, I have a feeling he'll submit him eventually because that gas tank is going to run out. He almost decided to take the back, which would have been a bad choice from there. He would have gotten dumped over the head of, of Mac Costello and been underneath him. Glad he changed his mind on that, but we can see where this fight needs to go to, for Van Houten to have the advantage, but so far he has not been able to keep Mac Costello on the, on the floor. Costello is so tough to finish. His previous fights has taken a lot of damage. It just keeps moving forward. Of course, has a 4-0 record. Excuse me, 5-0 record. Fight! Fight! 15 seconds Ooh. left for Van Hoot. Yeah, Van Hoot needs to keep his body pressed here and just Finished the round with a flurry. I think he's he's won this round. Yeah, that was definitely a round for the Alaskan Assassin. That Van Hooten needing to keep calm between rounds here. Well, maybe a little extra time between rounds, able to get him, but. Started out kind of the same. Nice body kick, spinning body kick there from Van Hoop, but it looked like all it did was piss Costello off. <laughs> so, Van Hooten closed the distance here, able to get those legs up and get to a position. This was a, this was a missed opportunity for Van Hooten here. And then he does it again. He's able to get you know, near misses there from, from Costello. He's able to get this back to the ground, land some good shots. But we saw those, how labored those punches were for Matt Costello in that third round. It's not gonna get any better. It's, it's gonna get worse from here as we go into the fourth and fifth rounds. Gotta see if Van Hooten can get a second win here, get this back to the ground. Still gotta think that's his best opportunity to win here because his punches and kicks have been completely ineffective against Matt Costello. All right, now we get some of those questions answered. What's going to give first, the endurance, the power? Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Van Hooten, he needs to finish here. If he doesn't, this is going to be devastating to that cardio. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh. The Alaskan assassin <laughs> is teeing off on Matty Ice. He's got to be careful here. He's got to be careful. Both guys are absolutely gassed now. And that's, that's it. We that have is it! We have a 215 pound heavyweight champion! Wow! Weight is not an issue. The Alaskan Assassin comes out in the championship round and captures himself an amateur heavyweight title. Wow, what a finish for the Alaskan Assassin. He looks like he's about to take his shorts off. <laughs> 
Here we go. Woo! Abraham Van Hooten smelling blood here, and he is biting down on that mouthpiece and giving everything he's got in these last exchanges. Matt Costello throwing a few punches there. Referee seeing a few unanswered punches. And then his oh. hands just drop. And then all it takes is a few more. And you see Matt Costello kind of look over at the referee to see if he was coming to close the distance. And then once he got there, all he knew, it was just a few more punches. Oh, that left was yeah. it. That was it. If that left maybe misses, he still has a chance. But ooh, that was crazy. Congratulations to the new champ. Let's make this thing official. Here is Wayne Leggett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Aaron Menard calls for a stop to the action. 33 seconds into round number four. Declaring your winner by TKO and new Fury Amateur Series heavyweight champion, the Alaskan Assassin, Abraham Van Hoo.